Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another Pilates workout. Today I have a 30 minute morning Pilates workout for you and I hope you really enjoy it. So we will begin seated at the top of our mats. You just want to make sure you have enough space behind you as we will come to lie down in a bit. So you want to have your knees bent at 3 quarter degrees and keep your feet at hip width distance. Reaching your arms out forwards in front of you, take a deep breath in, lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, round through your back body, pull your navel in, chin in towards your chest. Inhale, lengthen your spine again. This time, reach your arms up to the ceiling. As you exhale, round through your back body, so slide your ribs towards your hips. Let's repeat. Inhale, find length, lifting your heart up. As you exhale, round through your spine, C-shaping through your back body. Last one. On your exhale, round through your spine again. Hold here. On your exhale, sweep your arms open out to the sides. And then inhale, close your arms. Bring them back forwards again. So you exhale open and inhale close. Let's keep going. Make sure that you are keeping your core engaged. And last one. Inhale this time, lengthen your legs away, reach your arms up. And then as you exhale, reach over your legs, forward fold, chin in towards your chest, really rounding through your spine, noticing through the backs of your legs. Breathing in, come all the way back up, arms up, finding that three quarter bend in your knees again. As you exhale, find that C shape through your spine. With your arms reaching out long, inhale, twist to your right. Exhale, come through to center. Inhale, twist to your left. Exhale, come back through to center. Let's repeat that. So you really find, want to find that squeeze through your oblique each time you twist over to one side and the other. Again, keeping your abdominals engaged the whole entire time. Okay, so you can keep going just like this. Or the next time you twist, lift your leg up on that side, pulling your knee in. And then as you return to center, return your leg back. So twist to your right, pull your right knee in, lifting your leg. Exhale, come back through to center. And keep that going. One more on each side. And last one to your right. And last one to your left. Come back through to center, lengthen your legs away one more time, arms up, breathe in. Exhale, reach over your legs and fold, tucking your chin in towards your chest. Well done. Okay, breathing in, come all the way back up, arms reach up towards the ceiling. And exhale, begin to reach your arms forwards, pull your navel in. And then let's C-shape our spine and come all the way down to lie on our back vertebra by vertebra, reaching your arms overhead as you get here. Okay, let's bring the arms down by the sides of the body, bend your knees, placing your feet flat on the mat, your feet are hip width, bring them slightly closer towards your hips. Exhale, lift up to your bridge pose, inhale, reach your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring yourself all the way back down, and then inhale, bring your arms down by the sides of your body. Let's repeat. So exhale, come up, hold in your bridge. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, release your spine down onto the mat. Inhale, release your arms back down onto the mat. Let's keep that going. Remember to keep using your legs, keep squeezing your glutes, and keeping your core engaged the whole entire time. Try to keep your ribs sliding forwards towards your hips so that they are not flaring open. This time, you want to bring your arms up towards the ceiling and shuffle your feet closer to your feet or together. Lifting up onto the balls of your feet, bringing your heels off the mat. Exhale, open your knees out to the side and inhale, close. Again, you have the option to open the arms as you open the knees and exhale, come back up and squeeze. Let's keep that going. Really try to bring your legs, squeezing them together each time you come up. Keep pressing into the balls of your feet. Good, keep going. Exhale, open, and inhale, close. 
keep moving with your breath. Hold at the top. And then this time we're just gonna lift, bring the heels down and then lift the heels back up. So you lower the heels and you lift. Keep that going. Inhale, lower and exhale, lift. Keep squeezing, keep pushing your knees forwards to keep those legs working the whole entire time. Well done. Let's go ahead and hold this last one up. And then let's pulse the hips down and up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your heels down onto the mat now and we'll pulse the hips again. So you pulse the hips up and up. Six, five, four, three. You should be really feeling the burn here. Two, and one. Hold at the top. Release your arms all the way down onto your mat. And then exhale, release your spine all the way down to your mat. Hug your knees into your chest. Have a little rock side to side. Okay, let's bring the feet down onto the mat and bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall open out to the sides. Bring your hands behind your head, elbows wide. Exhale, curl your head and shoulders up. And inhale, come back down. Let's keep that going. So as you do this, think about finding the outer edges of your feet. And think about lifting up a little bit higher each time you come up. Really find that squeeze, sliding your ribs forwards towards your hips. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lower back down. Two. And one. Hold this last one here. Reach your arms out forwards. Let's pulse up and up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest your head, rest your arms, bring your legs back together. And then let's bring the feet hip width apart. Lift your legs up to a tabletop position, bringing your knees over your hips, and then bring your toes together, knees open out wide. Pressing your lower back to the mat. Inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, lift your legs up. You inhale, tap and exhale lift try to really move with your breath here so keep that going we have another four three really taking your time with these try to keep pressing that lower back into the mat lots of control here two and last one Hold your legs lifted, bring your hands behind your head, elbows wide. On your exhale, curl your head up in your abdominal curl. Inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, lift your legs and inhale, return your head. Let's keep going with those. So you exhale, curl up. Inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, lift your legs back up. Inhale, return your head. Keep going, keep moving with your breath. Nice and steady. If your legs are shaking, don't worry, mine were too. <laughs> Exhale, curl up. Inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, lift. Inhale, return your head. And again, really squeezing through your abs, engaging your core, pressing your lower back to the mat. Really finding your breath. Hold this last one up and extend your legs out long, bringing your heels together, toes wide. Inhale, pull your knees in towards your chest. Exhale, push away into your heels, lengthening your legs again. Keep going. Really find that engagement in your legs as you push away and find that squeeze through your lower abdominals each time you pull your knees in. Stay lifted through your shoulders. Keep squeezing, keep pressing your lower back to the mat. You're doing amazing, you got it. Just two more. Inhale, pull, exhale, push, and lengthen your legs away. Last one, really pull your knees in. Exhale to lengthen. Well done, let's rest the head, reach your legs up towards the ceiling. Let's 
flutter the legs to finish this series. So you're just going to flutter the legs. Good, keep going. You can keep your head, your shoulders on the mat. You can lift your head up if you prefer it that way. Another four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees and rest your head. And then let's go ahead and lengthen the legs and reach the arms overhead for a nice full body stretch here. Okay. On your inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling, curling your head and shoulders off the mat, lifting all the way up as you exhale, reach over your legs and fold. Let's reverse. Inhale, come up. Exhale, pull your navel in, roll all the way back down to the mat, reaching your arms overhead. And then as you breathe in reverse, arms reach up, chin in towards your chest, and roll all the way up, exhale to fold over your legs, chin in towards your chest. Let's do one more. Inhale, come up, exhale round your spine, and lay all the way back down, reaching your arms overhead. Okay, and then bring your arms down by the sides of your body again, bending your knees, feet flat on the mat. Bringing your hands behind your head, elbows wide. Breathe in, prepare. Exhale, curl up, bringing your right knee in. And then inhale, rest. Exhale, switch sides. So you exhale, curl up, bringing one knee in. Inhale, return. And exhale, curl up, bringing the opposite knee in. Let's keep that going. Really try and find that squeeze through your lower abdominals. As you lift your knee up, your leg up. And try and see if you can lift up a little bit higher each time through your shoulders. Hold this last one up. Pull your left knee in. Extend your right leg long. And then switch legs, pulsing twice. So you exhale, exhale, switch. Exhale, exhale, switch as you inhale. Keep that going. Try to stay lifted and off the mat through your shoulders as high as you can. Switching legs each time. Good. Bring both knees in, rest your head, rest your shoulders, and then gently turn your head to one side and the other, and then come back to center again. Bringing your head and shoulders off the mat, exhale, roll back, inhale, roll up to seated, keeping your feet off the mat. Let's repeat. Exhale, roll back, inhale, roll all the way up. Let's do one more. Inhale, roll all the way back up to seated, hold here. Extend your legs and reach your arms out by the sides of your body, holding in your boat pose. We hold four, three, two, and one. Rest your feet down onto the mat. Take your hands behind you and then drop your legs over to one side and then over to the other side. One more time, each side. Good, let's come all the way back through the center. And then we'll go ahead and set up on our forearms. Okay, so dropping down onto your forearms. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, lift one leg up at a time, bringing your knees over your hips, finding your tabletop position. Really engaging through your abdominals, sliding your ribs towards your hips, and finding your balance. On your inhale, drop your legs over to your right. As you exhale, come back through center. Inhale, drop your legs over to your left. And then exhale, come back through center. Let's keep that going. So you can keep going just like that, or you have the option to extend your legs out long each time you bring your legs over to one side. Let's keep that going. Six. five and four so inhale you bring your legs out to the side extend your legs long exhale you bend your knees come back in inhale drop your legs over to the other side extend your legs exhale bend your knees come through to center last one each side really controlling the movement as you bring your legs over and extend and then as you re-bend your knees and come back in.
And let's move into our bicycles here. Extend one leg, pull the opposite knee in, and then switch sides. Keep switching, keep breathing. Exhale, switch, and exhale, switch. Let's keep going. If you want to pick up the pace a little bit, feel free to go ahead and double time. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, let's come back up onto our hands, press into your palms, press into your feet. Breathe in, exhale, lift your hips up to a reverse tabletop position. You can hold here with your knees bent. You can also extend your legs long, lifting your hips up high. Keep looking forwards. If it's comfortable, you can shift your gaze up or maybe back behind. Press into your palms, notice your shoulders, keep reaching your toes towards the floor. Breathe in, exhale, reverse. Shifting your gaze forwards, bringing your hips down onto the mat. Reach your arms all the way up as you breathe in. Exhale, fold over your legs, bringing your chin in towards your chest. Inhale, come all the way back up to seated. Exhale, release your arms down. Okay, we're going to come up to all fours now. So crossing your legs over, taking them back behind. Set up onto your hands and your knees. Bring your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, engaging through your abdominals, keeping the crown of your head lengthening forwards. Lengthen your right leg behind. Exhale, lift your leg up. Inhale, tap your toes. Let's keep that going. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Six. Five, really engaging through your abdominals and finding that contraction in your right glute. Three. Two, last one, hold your leg up lifted and we're going to begin to draw circles using your toes. So draw nice big circles behind you. We're making five in this direction and then let's go ahead and switch direction. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Keep your leg lifted up nice and high and pulse your leg up and up six five four three two and one hold your leg lifted press into your palms inhale bend your elbows lower down exhale press yourself up seven six really squeezing your arms as you come up five and four try to bring that chest nice and close to the floor three Two, you got it. Last one, inhale, bend, exhale, you press up. Lower your right foot, your toes on the mat, press your palms, tuck your left toes under to meet your right, and then send your hips up in a downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and pedal the feet out, stretch the shoulders, lengthen your spine. Drop your knees down onto the mat and we'll do that on the other side. So press your palms, extend your left leg behind, exhale, lift your leg up, and inhale, lower back down. Let's keep going with these. Again, try to lift up nice and high, try to find that contraction in your left glute, keeping your core engaged the whole entire time. Just two more, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, Exhale, lift, and let's begin to draw those circles. We're making five in each direction. Try to go nice and big. Keep the rest of your body nice and stable. Good, let's go ahead and switch directions. Once you have done your five on this side, really keep your leg extended long. Keep reaching through your toes. And last three, two, and one. You got it. Good job, hold your leg extended now and let's take those little pulses. So you pulse your leg up and up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold your leg lifted, inhale, bend your elbows, lower your chest, exhale, press up. Seven, six, keep that going, really squeezing through your tricep, your arms, your shoulders each time you lift up. Stay nice and strong, you got it. Try to bring your chest a little bit closer to the floor. And two, last one. Come all the way back up. 
and then release your left knee down onto the mat, maybe taking your knees a little bit wider, sit back towards your heels in your child's pose. Notice your breath, notice how you feel, notice your shoulders, your legs, and of course your glutes. Let's come all the way back up and we're gonna move on to our side lying series. So come to lie on the right side of your body. We're gonna rest um, on our elbows, so holding your head in your hand, keeping your knees bent to a 90 degree angle and keeping your legs stacked. Okay, keeping your knees on the mat, we're gonna go ahead and lift the feet off the mat, reaching the toes. Exhale, open through your knees and inhale, close. Let's keep that going. So you can place your left hand anywhere on the mat, behind your head, it doesn't matter. We're doing eight in total. Three, two, and one hold this last one up and then we're going to lift the leg up bring the knees together and then tap the toes together so you inhale tap your knees exhale tap your toes really reaching open staying strong through that bottom leg i know it's hard but we can do it point your toes breathe exhale and tap your knees as you inhale last one now hold your knees open, extend your top leg long, inhale, exhale, pull your knee into your elbow, and then extend your leg forward, circle it all the way back. So pull your knee in, extend it forwards, big circle all the way back and back into your elbow. Let's keep that going. Push your leg open, exhale, kick it back and in and then circle your leg all the way back again. Well done, keep that going. You can rest your bottom leg as you do this. Let's do one more. Great job, extend your leg long, little pulses as you bring your left arm up to the ceiling. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest your leg, give yourself a bit of a pat, a little bit of a rub down. And let's press ourselves up to seated, keeping your knees bent. Take your right arm all the way up and over to your mermaid stretch. Okay, we're going to go ahead and switch it over to the other side. So let's come to lie on the left side of our body now. Resting on your elbow, keeping your knees bent to a 90 degree angle, keeping your legs stacked. Engaging through your abdominals, sliding your ribs towards your hips. Let's lift the legs up, toes up, any right arm. Exhale, open through your knees and inhale, close. We have seven more. Each time you open, find that contraction in your right glute. Really find that squeeze as you lift and inhale to lower back down. Three, two, and last one, hold your knees open and let's tap the knees and then tap the toes. Keep going, inhale, tap your knees together and exhale, tap your toes together. Again, contracting your right glute each time you tap those toes together, finding that squeeze again, keeping your legs, your feet lifted. Three, two, and last one. Extend your top leg now, and then we're gonna bend the knee into the elbow, extend your leg forward, circle it all the way back behind, and then pull the knee in again. Big circle to the back, pull your knee in, and let's keep going. As you do this, think about really finding that squeeze through your right oblique, right side of your waist as you pull your knee into your elbow, and keeping your leg nice and long and active, really energized as you take that big circle all the way back and come back in. Your left leg can rest on the mat or it can stay lifted. Keep working with your breath and keep that engagement through your abdominals. Let's do two more. Really pull your knee into your elbow, extend forwards and take your leg back. Last one. Hold your leg extended, reach your right arm up. Let's take those little pulses up and up. Four, three, two, and one. 
rest your leg, give yourself a little bit of a pat, a little bit of a rub down, and press yourself up to seated, keeping your knees bent. Take your left arm up and over to your mermaid stretch. Okay, we're gonna uh, go ahead and switch positions, so we're gonna come to lie on our fronts. You wanna stack your palms, your forearms, and rest your forehead, extending your legs long at the back. On your exhale, reach through your toes and lift your legs up, and then inhale to lower back down, keeping your legs wide. Exhale, lift. And inhale lower again, finding that contraction in your glutes each time you lift your legs up. Try to lift up a little bit higher each time you come up, keeping your upper body, your shoulders relaxed. You want to keep that engagement through your core, th pulling your belly in towards your spine. Rest your legs, reach your arms out forwards now, and we're going to work through the arms. On your exhale, lift your arms up, keeping your gaze to the mat and inhale lower back down. Let's keep that going as you keep hugging your navel close in towards your spine. Keep lifting as you breathe out and lowering down as you breathe in. Imagine that there is a pin underneath your belly button and you're trying to draw away from that pin. Okay, let's go ahead and put all of that together. On your exhale, lift everything up. Inhale, you lower back down. Let's keep that going. Six, five, four, and three. See if you can lift up a little bit higher. Two, and last one. Hold everything lifted and let's go for a swim. So begin to move your opposite arm, opposite leg. You can pick up the pace here and go a little bit faster. Go for a really quick swim. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Rest everything back down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and sit your hips to a dear heels in your child's pose. Take a moment. Notice your breath. Notice how you feel in your body. Okay, let's go ahead and come up. Walk your hands over to, you, to one side, finding a nice side stretch. And then breathing in, come back to the center. And then exhale, take it over to the other side. So we're just going to finish off with a couple of really feel-good stretches. Come back to the center again as you breathe in. And then resting your palms, resting your forehead. Bring your palms together at the top. Lifting up on your elbows, bring your thumbs to the back of your neck, your head. So you want to feel a really nice shoulder, upper arm stretch here. Releasing your palms, your arms onto the mat. Take your right arm and thread it through underneath your left, reaching through your fingertips, rotating. Notice through the backs of your shoulders here. Come back through center. And take it over to the other side, threading your left arm underneath your right this time. This should feel really good after those press-ups that we did. Come back to the center to your child's pose. And then let's lift up onto our hands and our knees. Wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Breathe in. And then as you exhale, round your spine, pull your navel in towards your spine, chin in towards your chest. Inhale, arch your back body, reach through your heart. And let's repeat, exhale, round your spine. And inhale, reverse, arching through your back body. And again, exhale, round your spine. This should feel really good for our spine right now. Inhale to reverse as you arch through your back. Come through to center and then bring your hips towards your heels as you come seated to an upright position. Let's go ahead and finish with an arm circle. Big breath in, reaching your arms all the way up to the ceiling and then bring your hands to your heart. 
Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed that 30 minute morning Pilates. I hope you feel amazing for it and I hope you have a really, really great day ahead. As always, please remember to like, please remember to subscribe and leave me a comment as I would love to hear from you. I am wishing you a really lovely day ahead again, sending you all my love and I hope to practice with you again real soon.